the protests against the Taliban have moved on to the streets of the capital. The Afghan flag is the popular sign of dissent. From Jalalabad to Kabul, it is a deliberate snub to the white flag that the Taliban has raised over town and city squares. The protests are mostly peaceful for now, but how long will the Taliban let it continue? Until the Taliban accepts that today's Afghanistan is different to Afghanistan 20 years ago and convince us that they have changed and they won't go back to their same system, the Taliban should come and kneel before us. We will never kneel before them. If they truly love their country, they will not fear us. This country is ours. We will save it by all means. Afghan women are slowly being rubbed out of society. This was a beauty salon in Kabul today. The Taliban leadership insists women will be free to live their lives, but evidence to the contrary is mounting. We had um, an uh, announcement from the Taliban that we have nothing with the women. Uh, you can uh, continue your work as you were working previously. But you know, one of my friends who is uh, an anchor in national TV, she was, she, she was not allowed to do her job. The number of women protesting on the streets, despite the obvious and real dangers to them, is quite something. They, perhaps, have most to fear. The Taliban war is against women. They don't want a woman to be educa educated. They take away the rights from the woman. The first thing they do, they take away everything from a woman. Another RAF aircraft has landed at an airbase in Dubai. And in Qatar, the faces say it all. Interpreters and their families have been arriving in the Gulf state, but there is still more tragedy than hope in all of this. Zaki Anwari played football for Afghanistan. Early this week, his young body was found in the landing gear of a US Air Force plane. He was just 19 years old and a talented sportsman. He died trying to escape the country he once proudly represented. Alistair Bungle, Sky News.